Hello friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. I am Vanitas Mangatil. In this uh, tutorial, I will be trying to create an imaginary watercolor and this is going to be the part one of that video. Okay. In this part one, we will be making the initial sketch from imagination and I will try to explain my thought process as we come out with the image. And um, uh, I think this will help, this will be helpful for you if you are looking for, I mean, creating imaginary watercolors or acrylic or whatever medium it is. Imaginary works if you want to create, this uh, step will be helpful. And the uh, subsequent uh, part will cover the watercolor painting uh, uh, part of it. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. Uh, without further ado, let us get into the video. Hello friends, uh, in this tutorial video, we will make a simple imaginary landscapes and we will, uh, since it is an imaginary landscapes, we will have to first come out with a, a reference image, okay, some, some plan, okay. So when we say imaginary watercolors, imaginary landscapes, we could directly start painting without any drawing or we could first come out with an imaginary drawing and then we can come we can start uh, the watercolor works so in this spe specific tutorial uh, we will first come out with an imaginary drawing okay and uh, uh, then we will finalize on the drawing maybe mm, i'm not sure whether we will be just doing a single drawing or we may have to do more than one drawing uh, we will start okay if you are happy with the first drawing we will we will continue with the watercolors with that drawing itself or if the first drawing didn't come out well maybe we will uh, we will tweak it and we will make another one and then we will go for the watercolors once we are happy with the drawing we will do with the watercolors okay so when we when we make such drawing my approach is uh, do the drawing little small one very very small one uh, so that we don't waste too much of time on I mean uh, the drawing part because uh, we may have some uh, we, we may not uh, really uh, like the initial attempt and we may have to make two or three attempts uh, before we finalize on the drawing so okay let us make small ones uh, so that uh, we don't be spending too much time on the plan Okay, so what I do is I take an A4 uh, sheet of uh, normal printing paper, okay, N normal A4 sheet paper, and I'm using a, a dark uh, dark pencil here, okay, and uh, this the 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 pencil that I'm using is Artline Black Beauty. It's a dark pencil, okay. You can use any dark pencil. So let us make. A, uh, let us uh, do the planning okay so since it is from imaginary we don't we we have to think what we are going to make okay uh, maybe i'm in this phase i'm spending some time because uh, 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 nothing is readily available okay so we have to we have to come out with ideas and we have to uh, think of it and uh, we have to draw it okay that is the approach okay so let us make uh, small frame sort of thing okay. and uh, let us make a small a size a kind of a, uh, this is uh, approximately the aspect ratio that I am planning it's a it's a landscape mode uh, subject and this width is to height uh, the ratio you can you can uh, this ratio should be somewhat similar to the watercolor paper that you are planning to paint on okay so this is approximately i would say uh, if the height is one the width is one maybe 1.5 so it could be three is to two three is to two uh, uh, orientation and just to get a start i am just trying to make the key division here so let us say let us make a big sky and uh, a small piece of land okay maybe this is a 
this much is the sky and this much is the land and we should add some interest here okay we cannot just keep it like this okay if you could keep it like this if you wish okay so we let us make little bit of a greenery uh, landscape here with a little bit of trees and uh, uh, far and stuff etc that is just my thought i am getting maybe a little bit of uh, little bit of stuffs at the background okay uh, i may tweak it i may raise it and i may tweak it this is just an idea that i am getting and uh, let us make uh, some kind of interest around this place so what i am planning to do is let us make a small house here maybe okay and A small house and there could be a little bit of a contrast shadow here maybe little bit of shadow I I am dark I am defining the contrast now itself because I wanted little some amount of a, an interest here okay some amount of shadow here maybe I'll erase this particular line and this could be the base and uh, let us make some sort of a window here maybe maybe a door here okay This could be some some a something of interest here. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. And we might make couple of uh, people also here. So let us pick maybe a guy here. A figure here maybe another small figure here okay this is some area of interest okay and let us make some sort of a, there should be this area cannot be blank so let us think of what we can do here maybe we can make another house here but i just uh, i don't like that idea for now uh, let us uh, sort of uh, make some sort of a maybe something some kind of a, a directional stuff here maybe this could be some stream of water or it could be some pathway okay something like this really do not know what it is and there could be uh, there could be some some tall trees here okay okay uh, some more trees some more trees there and uh, this area looks little blank so let us make some some sort of a some sort of a big tree here maybe yeah some kind of a tree here something and there could be uh, yeah let us make this as uh, Sort of a sort of a, a stream of water. Let us let this be some uh, reflection. Okay. This is just an idea now. Okay. My, my board may be shaking, so uh, 
please forgive me and uh, let us make uh, maybe I, I I I am sort of adding you know, some some guy here. Okay, maybe he he is little close to close to us. Okay, and he is maybe he is little bigger. And there could be some sort of maybe an animal here, maybe some cow or something. I don't know. Just some suggestion. Right. I think this is uh, this seems to be fair enough. Okay. And let us make some uh, like I mean some sort of a tonal details. There could be this could be a little darker, I think. And there is maybe there are some lighter tones here. Sorry for the shaking of the board. I think I think you get the idea. Okay. And there could be some kind of uh, uh, foliage here and I'll be making darker lines. These are darker foliages maybe. This area can have some kind of a shadow or something on the roof. So this can be little darker and maybe we will keep little darker stuff here so that there is a, an element of light here. Some, some, some play of light is happening around this area, some focal element. Maybe a little bit of shadow here. Okay, I think we are we are getting uh, a better idea now. Okay, I think this has got little little touch. Yeah, I think it is uh, reasonably now okay. We can. Sorry for that background noise. Uh, that was unexpected. And what about having some foliage here also? We'll make it... This also has to be dark. Some leaves falling down. Okay. Just 
just some random shapes okay and these badges can be darker now now that we have more tones we can make it make it little bit more darker okay let us hook it properly to the ground some shadows here Um, these are just some ideas, okay, it doesn't have to be precise. I think this should this is really now good as some suggestion for water and these are some figures this could be some some animal facing let's say it I don't know okay these are just some ideas and I think this is uh, this is the uh, this is the idea that we can go for and uh, this looks reasonably okay I'm happy with this Okay, I think this is worth trying and we will now uh, try to draw this on a watercolor paper and then we will convert that into uh, a proper watercolor. So the the drawing part and the watercoloring part on the watercolor paper, we will keep it in the second part. Okay, if you like this uh, kind of uh, tutorial videos, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And I will try to come out with more and more uh, real-time tutorials for you. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please do write them into the comment box below. I will surely try to respond, your, respond to your comments and I will try to include your suggestions as much as possible. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. Hope uh, you have enjoyed it and there was something to learn from this. So we will see you in the next uh, part of this, this tutorial. Until then, goodbye.